Hey there, it's Andrew Cartwright. I've got some great business grants, lots of them, six of them total to talk about in a lot of different cities. This is exciting stuff and I'm gonna walk you through how to get started on this and where you can go to get it. Now, normally the application process for small business funding can be very time consuming, disheartening, and a struggle. It may feel like a marathon, maybe even an Ironman, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So it's best to think ahead and find out about new opportunities well before the time to actually fill out the application. So you want to make sure you send it in and get in front of everybody out. This week, a number of cities announced that they were starting an award program to help local small businesses or that have been interrupted and extend the deadlines for some of the applications. This is incredibly great news for many people. A lot of these grants are easy to get. Just fill out an application and tell your story. These are not the normal grants that can be a little bit tougher to actually get through. These are a lot easier. They have to do more with narrative and telling your story story and why you deserve the money. We're going to talk about that in this video. My name is Andrew Cartwright and this channel is dedicated to getting you money, leveraging it and investing it and helping you achieve your dreams because you know making thousands of dollars, I'm sure you already done it, is easy but leveraging it to make millions, it takes some actual knowledge to do that and grants are a great way to start because they don't put you in debt. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries. That's sort of my background. So for a better life, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video and if you appreciate the work I do researching all this stuff please put a comment in the comment section and like the video because it certainly helps out with the YouTube algorithm but first let's dive into what this is there are actually quite a few small business grants that are available right now six to be exact and they all are funded through the American Rescue Plan Act yep the ARPA there is a lot of money like I've mentioned to you guys before there's like 3.1 trillion dollars still in it it, still available, still able to use. And to start off with, there's Roanoke, I'm just diving into it, ARPA grant. The deadline for the American Recovery and Investment Act Small Business Grant Program in Roanoke, it's R-O-A-N-O-K-E, Virginia, has been pushed back. So you guys still have an opportunity to get this money. The program was started at the beginning of the year to help small businesses that had been hurt by the pandemic, businesses that have already been sent the application, well, you can still do it all the way up until, get this, December 1st, which is great that they extended the deadline. So make sure you submit if you're out in that area or let somebody know if you know somebody in Virginia. However, individuals who are interested, they must submit their application by January 31st of 2023. And next, we have a grant for the pandemic recovery in Alameda County, where my best friend lives. For small businesses in Alameda County, California, they can apply for grants to help them get back on their feet after losing money from the pandemic. As so many people have, a lot of people are still hurting. We've kind of glazed over it, but even the tents that you probably see in a lot of cities, it could be a disruption from the pandemic still occurring. So we have a lot of people that were disrupted by the events of the pandemic. The American Rescue Plan Act, which provides money for an initiative, they have $11 million that they're putting out and business operating from home may even qualify. So you can qualify from home for $5,000. Additionally, companies with physical locations, you're eligible for $10,000. And to be eligible, a business must be licensed in the county, employed between one and 25 people. So you got to have at least yourself, self-employed and 25 people and show that you lost some money during the pandemic. Applications, you can put them all in all the way to the end of this month. So you got another week to do that. Now there's grants in Tumac Small Business Development Center. Again, that's Tillamook, T-I-L-L-A-M-O-O-K. Also, you guys can check in your own city. These programs pop up like constantly all over because cities and states have money all over the place. I'm just showing you some, uh, at least six examples, but they're probably in your community. Hopefully they're in this video. The Tillamook Bay Small Business Development Center is in Oregon and they're starting a new grant program in addition to small business management seminars. So they'll help educate people as well. Residents who recently launched or are about to launch new firms can participate in the 10-month initiative, which will match up with $1,000 to each business-related expenses. That's pretty cool. The first day of class, well, it's passed, but there are more, October 12th, and they're gonna last all the way to June, so you got plenty of time. To be eligible for matching money, where they match your money, grant winners must be both the planning class and also remain small business company management class. So you gotta do those two classes, and they'll match funds for funds 
buttons with you, which is so cool, right? Parents out there, I know a lot of parents will say, look, whatever you come up with savings, I'll match that to buy your car. Next up is Lincoln Utility Assistance. Lincoln, Nebraska is helping small businesses with their hurt by the pandemic by giving them the grant for helping with utilities. Grants may be used to pay for up to a year's worth of electricity and water bills that have been not paid and pay them in full. So Lincoln Electrical system and Lincoln water system. So this is great. To qualify, a business must be one of the city's designated business districts and have 50 employees or less. On the first come and the first serve basis, funds will be offered. So next up, we have the Small Business Economic Recovery Grant Program in Plainfield. An American Rescue Plan Act funded by new programs and new grants is taking applications in Plainfield, Connecticut. Under the Small Business Economic Recovery Grant businesses and nonprofits in certain towns that lose money or lost money or donations because of the pandemic will get $25,000. If you donated or you lost money, there's a good chance they're going to take care of you. A lot of people donated food. They donated supplies. There was a lot of stuff. A lot of people contributed to helping so much ease some of the pains of the pandemic. The town previously had a business revolving loan program. However, it was discontinued last year and no longer doing that. So this grant program is better anyway. So go with that. Get some free money you don't have to pay back. Also, we got Medford Business Improvement Grant Program. This business facade improvement grant program is for the city of Medford, Massachusetts, which will soon be accepting applications for the second round of funding. During the first round, the city gave grants totaling more than $50,000 to 13 different businesses. This time around, the city will provide between 10 and 20 matching grant to new businesses and existing businesses in order to cover the costs of qualified facade modifications. That's if you want to make your place better looking, maybe signage, paint, maybe you're replacing some of the soffits to make your place look better. The maximum amount of money is $5,000 that's going to be awarded in the grant. The people who get grants will also get help with design and construction management to be able to facilitate that improvement, right? The deadline for the program is November 22nd. Point is, the ARPA has millions worth of grant money and funds still available through the end of the year into the next and we got all the way to 2028 for this money folks 3.1 trillion dollars this is grant money so it's you don't have to pay it back it's absolutely incredible so make sure you take advantage of these programs and for those who are wondering why i'm wearing this shirt i finished the iron man in california yesterday so i have finished time with 16 hours and i believe 14 minutes 16 hours 14 minutes and 25 seconds yeah, that's a long way. I did a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride after that 2.4 mile swim, and then I ran 26.2 miles. So a total of 140.6. Can officially call myself an Iron Man. So maybe you guys followed me on my Instagram where I post there. If you need a loan for your business, I have 12 different programs in the link in the description below. We have tons of lenders that are looking to lend you money. So if you need help there, make sure you do that. Grab your 12 stocks with Weeble or 15 possible stocks with Moomoo, which is incredible, that they're putting out up to $30,000 you can get for that. So really cool stuff. And my contact information is down there as well. Take care. Love you.